In this tip of the day, let's take a look at the one CNC table load move option. So first of all, what is the table load move option? Well, it's the ability to move the table forward after the part's been completely machined so you can easily remove and replace the part. Now, there's two steps to setting this up. The first step is to configure your post processor. That's very easy to do and let me demonstrate. Take your cursor, head up to the upper left hand corner, select NC and then NC setup. From there, you want to make sure you select the proper post processor. In this example, I'm going to be using the Fanuc post processor. Once you've done that, click on your posting format. And for the format, we want to select start and finish format. All we're going to do is just insert a couple variables within this inlines area. Take your cursor, put it to the very beginning of the first line, and hit the inner key on the keyboard. Use your arrow keys to move the cursor back up, and that's exactly where we're going to insert our first variable. Over on the right, we have a list of variables. The first variable we're going to insert is the table load position Z variable. Just left click that and then select insert. And notice how one CNC inserts the variable. Hit the enter key and now it's time to insert the X and Y variables. So again, I'm going to take my cursor, left click on the variable I want to insert and then click the insert button. Now we'll select the Y variable, click insert and that's all there is to it. We're going to go ahead and click OK now. And now all we have to do is the second step, and that's defining the coordinates we want to use for the table load move. We can easily do that by moving up here to the NC Manager and double clicking on our toolpath group. Within the NC Processing dialog box, make sure you have your proper post processor selected, and then come down here to where it says Table Load Move. By default, this is set to None. You want to click on Set, and now we can enter the coordinates we want to use. I'm going to leave X set to 0, for the Y value, I'm going to type in 8 inches, and for the Z value, I'm going to type in 8 inches. We'll click OK to that, and let's generate our CNC code. We're going to select Post. I'm going to just use the default name there. I'll click Yes to overwrite that. And if we look at the very bottom of the CNC program, you can see that we moved Z 8 inches, we moved X 0, and Y 8 inches, which effectively has moved the table forward. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.